Hello, everyone. Welcome to one of my absolute favorite games ever. Uh, it is called... I don't think it'll have to have screen, actually. Yeah, it's called Subnautica. So, what it is, is it's an underwater survival game. As you can see, we are currently ejecting off of our ship. You know, crash landing. Uh, on an alien ocean planet. It's great, it's great. We got concussed, you know, waking up, ship's on fire. Or well, I guess our life pod. Our ship exploded mid-flight. But uh, our life pod is on fire. Which is, you know, completely safe. So I'm just gonna... Uh, grab this fire extinguisher here. There we go. I'm gonna put this out. Uh, yeah, okay. So now we can actually begin I'm gonna do this i don't think you guys can hear audio i'm trying to figure out how to include uh the game's audio in the recording uh and until i can i don't want to play too much of this game just because it's a even though it's a survival game and strategy game it's actually very scary if you're scared of sea creatures. And if you are, or scared of the ocean anyway, this is what I mean. Alien planet. No clue what kind of predators are out there. Now you got that massive crashed ship. I'm actually pretty far back. Most of the time, you're uh, closer to that tiny bump way over there, and the ship's normally like right here, but no, it's towards the back of it, which is fine. I, I have never really had this approach, so that'll give me a new experience as well. So we're going to hop into the water here. There we go. Ooh, we got a wreck right here. Uh, the thing is, I... I don't really like the fact that all these games... Okay, here we go. So it's telling us... I don't know if you could see the words there. It said break the limestone, so we're going to walk up to this. Break it. We got copper ore. There you go. Um, oh, we got a bunch of limestone here. That time we got titanium. So titanium is your basic metal in this game. Anything made out of metal will use titanium in one way or another. If you look in the bottom left, you'll notice our stats. Oh, yay. Oxygen. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Um, there's water, food, health, and oxygen in the bottom left. Uh, pretty much all of that's self-explanatory when you're underwater. You lose oxygen, you get damaged by a creature or fire or something, you lose health, you lose food water over time. Okay, and that's a stalker. Um, yeah, we're right next to a creep pine forest. That's great, actually. And I, that's also not sarcasm, because a lot of the time you have to go very long way for creep vine and it's a very useful tool in fact we're gonna get a head start so this is your fabricator i think i opened it and fiddled around with it earlier uh so if we open this you notice we got a few tabs we got resources sustenance personal and deployables so basic materials electronics so these are so you create materials here out of materials you can find open world mostly for example, the computer chip needs copper wire, and copper wire is two copper. But you get the point. Uh, most of the time, open world, you know, resources you find, you make uh, components out of them. Uh, and then you can go to equipment. You can make equipment with that, so like oxygen tanks and fins, make tools out of it, so knives, flashlights, scanners, uh, and eventually even ships, like submarines. Uh, so, I did get some, uh, if you saw me picking up the metal salvage earlier, we did get some of that, so I'm going to be picking, or turning each metal salvage into four titanium each. We make a titanium ingot now, which we don't really need to do until we get shipped the link. Um, 
Now we can make an oxygen tank, which is good. If you look in the bottom left, when we equip this, oxygen will go up. It's great. Uh, fire extinguisher, don't really need pipes. Uh, yeah, no, we don't really need pipes either. I've n I never really use pipes, to be honest. But, uh, if you are going to play this game yourself, uh, it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, I don't know about the new gen consoles, uh, and computer. But, uh, if you are going to play this game, literally, bank the scanner first. And that that's my one tip for you. Uh, the rest of it's just to have fun and to stop watching the series and experience it yourself. Only excuses I'll give you to stop watching my video. <laughs> uh, battery and titanium. So, what do we need for a battery? Two acid mushrooms and some copper. So, acid mushrooms are pink. I'm gonna exit through the bottom this time. The actual efficient exit. Boom. I already saw some. Yep, right there. So this game is also very beautiful. And... It... Oh... Oh, really? Okay, this is very good. Uh, already right here. See that dark grass? Yeah, that's, um, that's a grassy plateau. So that's a deeper area. That goes pretty deep, around 100 meters. So we're not going to be able to just swim down there. Uh, and we got a wreck right here, too. This is nice. Uh, then we got the creep vine. Yeah, this is honestly probably the best start you could possibly have right here. Just having your thing next to everything. To save shallows, the unique uh, resource is table coral and acid mushrooms. Got those right here. You got the creep vines right there, which are unique to that vine. And uh, the grassy plateau is just good for, uh, it has a lot of wreckage like this. And I will show you why wreckage is good in just a moment. Uh, our life pod is destroyed, by the way, we need a repair tool. Fix this, fix the radio, all that. Um, we locked a new personal item and equipment. Ooh, yeah. A high capacity oxygen tank. This brings us up to 135 oxygen, which is very good. But, uh, fins will make us enhance swim speed by 15%. It says right there. We need two rubber for that. Silicone rubber, which don't know how to make. Just run over here. Boom, creep vine seed cluster. Like I said, creep vines right there. So easy. I love this spot. Um, okay, battery. That's what we're going to make because we're going to make a uh, scanner. And that will be very good. So we're gonna head over here. Uh, scanner. There we go. There we go. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints, salvage technology, and to record alien biological data. So there we go. Uh, you know, so if you want to go around scanning everything, kind of like a Pokédex, you can. And trust me, there are entries on everything. I'll just open this, so if you guys want to pause and read it, you can. I'm I not going to. I've read the acid mushroom enough times. Uh, there's some table coral. Uh, there's this thing. I'll just scan this and then let's move on to scan the actual stuff that will help us progress. There we go. Most of these are just like excuses. <laughs> it's like, oh, why not make the environment scannable? Oh, great. Now we have to write descriptions for everything you can find in the wild. So I'm assuming they just wrote short little paragraphs about it, like where it's found, not its actual biological structure and all that, like you can, for example, the acid mushroom. Uh, so if we come down here, you can see that's just shipwreckage. Uh, let me try to see here. Yep, there you go, right there. Sea glide fragment. So if you look in the bottom right, there's a little scanning icon. That means we can scan whatever we're aiming at. And there you go. So the fragment scanned, overall progress, 50%. So we get one more sea glide fragment, and we will learn the sea glide. Now we have grab trap fragment. There you go. And it will not tell you what the item is until you've actually learned it. Oh, we got a counter. Oh, 30 seconds of oxygen. Okay. Um, so buildable. So we already learned the counter. But little furniture like that. Uh, oh, here we go. A sea glide. Little furniture like that is um, used in base building. Because you can actually build underwater bases in this game. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Now we'll make it. Let me just show you guys real quick. So if, uh, we run out of oxygen. There you go. And we reach the surface. Even when the screen's black. I'm going to risk it here. Full black screen. Boom. 
So, just because your screen goes black doesn't mean you're dead. And it's also getting dark out. Sunset. Beautiful. This is a very beautiful game, you know, if you're not looking at the nuclear radiated ship crash and you're actually looking at the beauty that is the sun. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go down because there is another fragment down here. A very useful fragment that is incredibly common and actually took me hours on hours to find in my first playthrough of this game. Beacon. Oh, I guess we need two fragments for it. <laughs> oh, look at this derpy boy. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, look at him, look at him, look at him derping out. I love these guys. Let me scan it, it's a sand shark. Whoa, relax, buddy. Relax, aggressive. Aggressive derp sounds. <laughs> I like those guys. Um, did we get all the... 30 seconds, blah, 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 blah. Did we get all the pieces? I mean, that's honestly great, because a lot of people uh, struggle with getting sea glides early. Not, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I should say the unlucky few uh, struggle with getting sea glides early. Whoa. Okay, I need an upgrade oxygen tank. This is not going to fit with me well. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got smoke coming out of the life pod, because we need to repair that. So I guess we can build a repair tool now. Um, let's see here. Two new deployables. Got the Sea Glide converts Torque. I have no clue how to pronounce that. <laughs> Into thrust underwater via propeller. So really, it's just a propeller. You just hold it and zoom, zoom. Um, and then a beacon, which uh, really, if we, I'm not going to show you right now because I'm looking. Oh yeah, power cells. Two batteries and silicone rubber. So, power cells are used to power, like, certain things like ships, bigger things, and, uh, you know, they're just super batteries, basically. Uh, and we will need food and water. There is a storage system here, which does contain, uh, some filtered water and nutrient blocks. So, you know, we can just eat the nutrient block and drink some of this water here. There you go. And then we get med kits for, or first aid kits from these things here, which can heal us. Uh, okay, so let's make a repair tool, because we're going to need to repair our ship. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. So, silicone rubber, right outside our front door. I love it so much, because I normally have to swim pretty far to get to silicone rubber, and considering you need silicone rubber to make fins... It's, it's annoying, but considering we're starting right here next to some. Yeah, right there. There's a sea clusters. Very nice. Uh, only complaint, only complaint about, uh, doing this is, um, alright, here it's lagging a bit. Let me just spam pick these up. Okay. My only complaint, we'll get them in a second, is, uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, there we go. So if you look at in our inventory, certain things take up more spots than others. Nothing stacks. Uh, I guess we're not honest. Honestly, yeah, we're not that close to the ship. Still. Mm, oh, yeah, so here we go. So see how this uh, life pod has, like, a blue symbol showing me where it is? That's what a beacon is. You just throw it down. You can name it. Color it. And it's, it's really good later in the game when you're trying to mark certain uh, biomes. You know, so you can just uh, go to them. Well, I wouldn't normally climb up front, but okay. Makes it very easy to find some other areas. Uh, but yeah, we can also make lubricant with creep vine seeds. So I'm going to make six silicon rubber. This is very useful early on. Because we have five seed clusters. So I'll turn three of them into silicone. And then I'll make two lubricant. There we go. Um, Yeah, so now we can make... Right? Oh no, cave sulfur. All right, well, uh, don't know where to find cave sulfur. Uh, take the first word, cave. It's really all you need. Yep, right there, right there. Okay, okay. So these little guys, ow, uh, they explode. Uh, if you could hear audio, which I can't either. I've disabled both you and me. Now that I say that out loud, I'm severely scared. <laughs> 
Uh, this game scares me in very little aspects of it, but in those small aspects of it, what is damaging me? Oh, another one of those things. Uh, in the small aspects of where it scares me, I get absolutely petrified, and by that I mean I literally stop talking, stop moving. You want to read that? There you go. Uh, stop talking, stop moving, full shutdown mode, get out of the area, run for your life, we're all gonna die. Like, full shutdown, like, I lose it. But, you know, that's only if we're over by the ship, which we're not gonna go for a long time for the sake of my sanity. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna stay in our cozy life pod and not go to that ship until absolutely required. Anyway, we're gonna move away from the topic of the Aurora, which is the name of that ship. We're gonna make ourselves both the knife and the repair tool. Uh, use the repair tool to fix our life pod so we can start generating solar power again. Uh, and get some nice lights. There we go. Now it's not- Oh my gosh, voice crack. Uh, <clears throat> now it's not so dark. Now is it? It's very nice. Uh, medkit, medkit, medkit? No. Uh, I wish you could put the fire extinguisher back on this. You can't. I'm just gonna throw this in here. Because I don't want that on me. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, can I... Because I can't organize those, so there's gonna be a gap there. Uh, and then we have to fix the radio. Now the radio is the main tool... There you go. Play message. It is the main tool used for storyline progression. So if we, you know, want to progress the storyline, we're gonna have to keep... Keep an eye on this radio. And, you know, if you're reading that, I, I've played this game multiple times. I'm probably not going to pay attention to the last, until, I'm not going to pay attention to the radio messages until we get to the last few. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, alright, well, we now have a knife. Stab. Uh, with the knife, we can harvest a few things. Uh, we can go up to the creep vines and actually harvest creep vine not creep vine seeds, and using creep vine we can make fiber mesh, which is used for clothing, and a few other things. Uh, oh yeah, sea glide, let's do that next. So a battery, a copper wire is what we need. Uh, we have absolutely no copper. So we're gonna need three copper and two acid mushrooms in total for both those, so let's grab the acid mushrooms and let's go search for the copper. I'm sorry, by the way, about all the background noise. I'm, I think I'm gonna get a mic, uh, microphone, so I can actually, uh, have more, what's it called, more quiet audio. Alright, hold on a minute, I'm gonna do something real quick. Uh, I'll be right back. I should be able to edit this out, and if I can't edit this out, you won't be watching this video. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me save while I'm at it. Uh, also, yeah, quick tip, always remember to save this game. Like, really. Because uh, if you die due to a glitch, uh, you really don't. You really, you really don't. <laughs> you really want to be able to load your previous save, trust me. Take it from my experience of phasing through the ground due to loading issues. It's not fun. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, I am back. Uh, ah, what was I doing? Oh yeah, sea glide. So we need copper. Um, limestone. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, we can scan this if you want to read that. I think it just if you scan it, it tells you what it can give you, I believe, which is pretty useful. Uh, there you go. Assessment: titanium and copper source. So there you go. Uh, there we go. Did we got copper from that one? I think we did. Titanium in that one. We need two more copper. Oh, uh, we can go down here a bit, I guess. <laughs> My oxygen will be fine. I was thinking about going all the way down there. I'm like, no, I will die. Not yet. When we get fins. Why am I stupid? We don't have fins yet. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One, one more. One more. One more. It's addicting. One more. Copper ore. Creature egg. Not gonna pick that up, because it takes up a lot of space, and we're not gonna be able to use it for a very long time. 
And when we can use it, you better believe I'm going to collect them all. Because uh, you can eventually unlock an aquarium, which holds multiple creatures. It's very fun to watch all the baby creatures grow. Alright, uh, let us see here. Alright, what what next? Right, fence, 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 fence. I'm blanking on every, every turn. Fence, okay. We can move fast in water now. Uh, two glass and a silver. Mmm, silver. Silver. So, silver is gotten from the upgraded version of limestone. Uh, it's called sandstone. So, it's it's sandstone outcrops. Uh, we can also make some glass. I don't know if we can make two glass. No, we can't. We need more quartz. Uh, we can make the copper wire, though I believe we... Oh, we can make the battery, too. Alright, there we go. I think that that's, that's the seed glide, right? Yes. Yes, sir. There we go. We are now speed. Um, let's get this upgrade oxygen, too. So we need one more glass and a silver. And it does say that we need the original oxygen tank, but that's just because I have to unequip it. Alright, there we go. So this thing's got a mini-map, which is good for locating caves, so I'm going to turn that off. Uh, do I have the flashlight on? No, I don't. Okay, I like to keep that off. Because some creatures are attracted by light. So that's one quartz. For the glass, here's two quartz. Uh, so, quick tip, uh, I, I know I said at the beginning of the video, one tip, I think it's like the third one. Uh, another tip then. Uh, creep vine forest, grassy plateaus, which are these areas, and, uh, the safe shallows, which is the areas we started with, all uh, the acid mushrooms and stuff, very shallow areas, you know, like 10 meters deep. Those areas, those three, are surrounding your life pod. You cannot enter a different area without entering at least one of those. Most of the time, two. If you do end up entering only one, there's one path that leads you into a different area from the safe shallows, and it's a long peninsula of safe shallows. Fun fact, it leads you to the ship, and you should never go to the ship uh, early game until you know you're actually willing to venture outside of the beginning three areas. And even then, you shouldn't go to the ship like right away. You're like, all right, I feel safe. Let's go to the ship. No, you will die. Do not. Ever. Ever. Don't. I need sandstone. Can we please get some sandstone? I would very much like some sandstone. And here I am breaking my own rules because I'm that south of the, on the map. My gosh. This area, right here, with all these spikes, uh, I believe, at least, is called the Dunes. The dunes are, eh, dangerous. We'll go over them when, you know, we actually explore them. I don't want to spoil too much of this game. I've pretty much memorized the entire Wikipedia on this game, which is good, but it's also bad. Uh, oh, oh, dirt boy, dirt boy coming. All right, we scanned a bioreactor fragment, one of, oh, you only need two for a bioreactor. Okay, okay, all right, blacks, dirt boy. Blacks, blacks. Uh, we have a new radio message, if you see on the right, that's what that symbol is. I'm looking for some sandstone. More limestone. Take that, what's this? Ooh, mobile vehicle bay. Ooh, okay, so that's used to build all the vehicles. There's a big, thick salt deposit right there. And some normal salt. Uh, so they're really big deposits. Don't worry about. Honestly, we're... Let's say I make 20 episodes of this game. We're probably not going to be harvesting that thing until episode 16 or 17. If we're lucky, maybe episode 14. <laughs> that That's how late in the game you have to be. You have to be pretty much at the end of the game. Only the final vehicle with the very correct upgrade can harvest that thing. Bruh. Hat anyone a seat sandstone? Ah, there we go. I was I was about to say I was I know there's wrecks around here. This grassy plateau is two wrecks. That one and a different, really massive one that I normally like to go to early in the game because it literally sets you. Whoa! Oh, that's a baby one. So yeah, if you think this thing is big, you haven't seen the parents yet. Uh, it's called a reef back. Technically, it's a reef back leviathan. But they don't really call it that. Well, they do. If I scan it, it'll say. Read back, provide them. So there you go. If you want to read this. Scroll down. Gosh, it's big. 
There you go. Ah, uh, where's the adults? There's a few adults over there. I like the little children. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. So this is a mushroom cave entrance. Uh, it leads you into the mushroom caves. There's a mushroom forest in a mushroom cave, so don't get them confused. Uh, I'm not gonna go down there. It's 200 meters deep. And while there is gonna be sandstone down there, if you die, you lose part of the resources on you, which includes, you know, titanium, copper, silver, all that. So I wouldn't go down there to get some of our stuff just to die and immediately lose it. Maybe if we get the upgraded tank, I'll do a run. I'll just run and grab one thing and leave. The one thing will help us, really. And I would like an upgraded tank before I explore that really large wreck. Uh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, 30 seconds. I can make it. I can make it. Pause that, read that. It gives you lead, silver, and gold. Pfizer, a biter. Alright, that's lead. That's gold. Bro, are you serious? Come on. Oh, wait, that, that's limestone. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm not dying this early. I'm not dying this early. Not episode one, please. Please, 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 please. Not to drowning. If anything, I'll die to one of the actual leviathans that are predators. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically those guys are predators, right? They eat plankton. Wow, scary predator. Nah, I'm talking to ones that eat big stuff. Okay, here we go. Laser cutter. So that's why I wasn't going to that wreck we saw earlier. Uh, I know for a fact that wreck has sealed doors. That's only one third of the laser cutter, too. Uh, oh, that's not a wreck. That's a life pod. So this is one of the other life pods that uh, didn't make it. Uh, what, what we got in here? So we got the PDA. I pause 70 grew log. Let me just... There you go. You can pause it now. Read that. Uh, sea moth fragment. Right. There's always a sea moth fragment at this life pod. Another reason why this grassy plateau, the south grassy plateau, is probably the best early game spot. Two wrecks. Life pod that guarantees a sea moth fragment. A sea moth is a one, one man submarine. That should say it all. Fast movement. Uh, high defense, uh, oxygen source, so I can just zoom across the bottom of the ocean to an extent. It can only go a certain depth until you upgrade it. And trust me, it takes a while. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we're here. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the big chonky wreck. So I might just look around the bottom of it. Uh, not gonna go in it yet. Because, you know, we're gonna need better stuff to go in it. And then I think once we upgrade the oxygen tank, maybe we'll go in it and then I'll end the video. Only because the computer I'm using does not have the best battery, and the area that I'm in does not have an outlet. So, as much as I'd like to plug in the computer right now, so I could continue, it is a laptop, so I can continue to record. Uh, no area for that. So we're not going to, I'm not going to, I guess. So yeah, I guess we can scan this. Uh, there you go, you can read that if you want. If no one... I guess I'll keep, whatever, uh, 30 seconds, oh, we're, we're 100 meters deep, when you, every 100 meters you go deeper, uh, you consume oxygen much quicker until you are, so you have a reinforced diving suit, I believe, which is a pretty late game suit, so, you know, we're, we're gonna have to work a lot towards that, uh, really, why all the empty boxes? Me very upset. I would very much like a mobile vehicle bay. Uh, by the way, this thing, this wreck, uh, has fragments for like late game thing. Like you know how I told you that like that thing that we get like at the end of the series to mine that big salt or big deposits of any kind. Yeah, there's pieces of it in here. Whoa, the most amount I've ever found is three, and that's a sand shark, derp shark, as I call them. Thirty seconds. All right, well, I didn't see any sandstone. And now here's how I look at it, guys, all right? What have we got in here? Flag. Let me go over here. All right. All these resources are common. Ignore the gold. Ignore the lead. Trust me, we can get more of those later. What I'm looking for are the... Are the what, what's it called? What's it called? Fragments, fragments. So we're going to head in here, immediately scan everything we see, as much as we can. So we got a desk. Come on. 
command share. Nothing in there. In here, nothing in here. We got laser cutter. I at least want a mobile vehicle bay. That would be very nice. Abandoned PDA. You can read that if you want. I'm closing out quick because I gotta go. A bench, and then let's go out real quick and get oxygen. Cause oh wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Two or three. All right. Let's zoom. 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 Whoa. Ow. Okay. Zoom. Zoom. Okay. 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 All right. Are we good. Good. There we go. Just touch the surface. And we went up anyway. Okay, zoom. Went straight back down. Uh, one more mobile vehicle bay and I will be satisfied. Uh, we can get a lot more in here. We'll come back, like I said, when we get an upgrade to oxygen tank. I just want the vehicle bay. We're not going to be able to make that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, where, where's, where's the... Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I always get lost in this part of it. I forget. It's wacky. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, that's battery charger. My bad. Still very useful. Um, knowing me, I don't know why I haven't built a habitat builder yet, considering it's like my favorite thing in this entire game. So we can just immediately start building bases. Uh, battery charger fragment. Alright, I'm just gonna keep scanning. I need one more mobile vehicle bay. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're going. I'm satisfied. We learned mobile vehicle bay. And that's not the only thing we got, too. We got power cell. And another laser cutter, so we need one more laser cutter. Or not power cell. Gosh. Battery charger. Alright, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I think. I tried. I tried. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Gosh, I forgot how fast the sea glide is. Uh, where's our life pod? This way. Yeah, so that wreck is on the west side of the southern uh, point of the map. Also, quick tip for people who, you know, once you get the Seamoth and you actually want to start exploring more. I turn on my light. Can you guys see better? I'm noticing it's dark on you guys' end. I guess I can't. Um, let me stay underwater to go faster. Uh, what was I saying? Something, something about something. I, I forget. Uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. So once you get the Seamoth, um, and you can actually start, you know, exploring more open areas so like the what was it the the area south that i ran into the crag field i really hope i didn't call that place the dune if look i'm gonna go back in the recording if i call that place the dunes i'm going to correct myself on screen with a little card because holy freaking crap if i said the dunes you never go there all right i have a save file on this game where i have literally everything you do not go to the dunes you don't go there. Like, you don't, you don't go there. You don't go to the dunes. Now, some really intense gamers out there are going to be thinking that, you know, oh yeah, go to the dunes. Because yeah, the dunes basically have every fragment in the game, right there. You know what also has the most dangerous predator in the game? <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything else about it. Uh, it may or may not be the one that I am scared of, and it may or may not be the one that I, uh, have nightmares about, and it may or may not be the one that, uh, makes me go full shutdown mode. All that matters is that you don't go to it. Anyway, the laptop's at 28%, and this thing drains battery very fast, so we're gonna head up, look at the ship. Very beautiful. I want a closer, like, you can't really see it well, you just see the thrusters. I don't really like it. But I, you know, it's, it's worth it for the view, or not for the view, the, sacrificing the view, whoa, control drift, sacrificing the view is worth it for the amount of resources you get here. Uh, oh, there we go, cliffhanger. Continued degradation, the Aurora's drive core may result in quantum detonation, continuing to monitor. Like I said, you can't really go up to the ship right now because it's, uh, radiating radiation, you know, so if you go up to it, you will die. Um, and the radiation is affecting the drive core. And if that happens for long enough, it'll go boom, boom. Uh, spoiler, it, it, it explodes. And when it does, we learn the radiation suit, which will allow us to approach it. Anyway, so yeah, thank you guys, uh, very much for watching the video.
If you do want to see more Subnautica, uh, leave a like if you do not mind, and go down to the comments and tell me, because I, I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorite games ever, uh, and I probably am not going to be playing more of it until I can actually plug in audio, because the audio in this game uh, really adds a scare factor to it. Not only that, but it also adds a... Uh, it really just completes the game. It, it just completes the game. Uh, you can't have Subnautica without its volume. I, I was just showing off the game here. Starting it. I hope I can get volume on it. If I can't, I'll just wait off until I figure out how to or get whatever equipment that I need to because I am getting more equipment. Uh, I'm currently using, you know, I had to get a capture card to be recording this. So I got the capture card. I think I'm going to be getting a microphone. I'll see how the audio looks. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, for me at least, good night.